What's up guys and welcome to System Test 3. Um, this is going to be a strobe only test because it's, it's, it's after 11 o'clock here in Florida. And I'm going to film the next system test tomorrow which will go on the 24th. Either the 24th or the 25th on Christmas Day. And so, with all that in mind, let's get to it. We today for today's test, we have a system sensors uh, advanced strobe only. I do have the horn strobe model. Let's see if I can find it. There it is. I do have the horn strobe model. I need to order a new back plate for it, or a new trim, uh, a new wi uh, a new uh, wire plate because the other one I had, I was, I was installing it one day and it broke. Its terminals uh, popped out of place, so I, I, I got to order a new plate. I found one on eBay. I'm gonna order it tomorrow. And so we have the same 42-50-120 T-bar pole station by Simplex. Um, the i3, as usual, the Simplex Remote Strobe, bottom one, and I see MS2, um, all, yeah, so all the stations are the same, RSS and the BG12L. But what I might do is that when I get the new plate, I'll pull the RSS out and put in the, uh, and put, the put that over there where the RSS is currently located. And I have the other i3 out. I'll forget if I mentioned that or not. And so, um, sh um, yes, um, the panel's in trouble because I have a ground fault. So I have an earth fault somewhere in the system. I don't know where it is. It's either, probably either coming from the, uh, I'm pretty sure it's coming from the, uh, MS2. Yeah, I'm gonna have to look at the MS2 tomorrow. And see um, if it's end of line resistor is uh, is touching the the junction box. I've had it happen before with uh, with the, uh, with my uh, with my uh, Power Trans MS501. So I I I gotta pull the uh, I gotta. Pull the um, MS2 off to its box mark and check it out. Let's see if that's the problem. And speaking of FCI MS2s, I'm going to start the test by pulling the MS2 today. So, let's see. I'll just put the key in the panel. So, in three, two, one. And it's not going off. Uh oh, that's not good. It's like we have a wire fail inside the. Let's see this. The switch activate. Oh no, it did not. It went down all the way. Or it didn't go. It didn't get flipped out fully. Try it again. Ah. Let's see. Hmm. see, that should be. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna replace the station. Don't do it like that. Wait for it to activate. There it goes. I already have it silenced. Yeah, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna fix this station. It's locked, it used to be looked at. But we have the alarms going off. We have the remote strobe going off. We have the, uh, what's it called? Uh, Simplex remote strobe. 
the RSS going off. And I, I still haven't fixed this problem yet. I need to look at that. Yeah, let's just let's switch this all. I need a I need I need a time to switch on a station. If y'all are wondering what this, uh, what, what that's for, that's for the MS4, I still need to, uh, install its cable. So yeah, the FCRSS going off. This is Spectroler, and let's reset it with the enunciator today. Let me get that panel key. We need the OPR key. Alarm one of one. Or alarm count one. Stock room. I don't have no stock room. Let's see what reset. Everything is stopped. Alright, so let's give the panel a moment to um, reset its internal stuff. Alright, so let's go ahead and key activate. The 4251 20. Alright, in 3, 2, 1. See, that's going to set it off. Uh, probably not. Let me do it again. 1, 2, 3, 4. Yep, and the alarms are not going off again. Um, I am planning a, uh, a thing for New Year's. Oh, let's move that back out. All right, to make you all happy, I'll go ahead and call the alarm as well. Alright, that's been told now. And let's reset this through the panel. Alrighty. So let me go ahead and get the um the kernel and reset reset alarm, reset complete. And I'm gonna see. I'm gonna want to give the panel up a moment to reset. Let's see if I can fit a mechanical pencil inside the I3 detector. Or I'll see if I can fit it in that one instead. All right. Um. Let's see what we can do here. Oh, fit, look at that. I threw one to alarm. Yeah, the I threw is um, activated. And now uh, showing alarm one. Alarm five, I don't have no electrical room in here either. All right. So yeah, there's the um, RSS. The activated i3 which I'm gonna go ahead and reset the i3 spin reset no strobe the uh, special alert advance p2r strobe only and let's go ahead and do a reset of the panel but you know what yeah watch the RSS stop as I hit reset Let me give you all a tour of the wiring. Um, I plan to try and clean up the wiring a little bit in here if I can. I'm gonna see if I can do anything possible to clean the wiring up a little bit in the panel. Um, like I have all of the pull stations and detectors on 
their own zone. Um, NAC won the uh, R, the uh, Spectraler and the RSS are on one NAC. Um, these are on NAC two, and what's on NAC three? I forget what I put on NAC three. I think no, I think these are NAC three. That's NAC four. And I forgot what I put on NAC two. All right. So all right. So look out for System Test four soon with the uh, with the um, horn strobe uh, with the horn strobe one on here. Instead of just a strobe only. One which that'll be going up later. Not today. Alright, so um thank you for watching this test. And I'll see you guys in the next test. Have a good night.